In terms of figuring out where the demand curve for a resource is going to be located on the graph, when we graph this market, you need to understand what things will cause it to shift. Remember, dif difference between a shift and a movement. Movement means you're going between points on a curve. Shift means you're picking your curve up and sliding it to the right or to the left. So just like with a regular supply and demand curve, there were things that would cause those curves to shift. You have similar factors that will shift a demand for a resource. So what we call those are determinants of demand. Again, they're similar to what you've seen before, but not the same. to affect demand for a resource is demand for the product. So that's the first one that we want to put up here. Very important, you know, if I could do it in big flashy neon letters, I would, but it's very hot today and I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. So no big flashy neon letters. You can enjoy them in your mind. All right, so number one, the product demand. Product demand increases, resource demand increases. And the reverse is also true, so that's the first thing. The next one is going to be a change in productivity. I should put change here just so we understand that it's the change that's actually going to move it. becomes more productive, then maybe you don't need to purchase as much of it. That's one way you can think of this one. Next, and this is where it's really going to sound similar to what you did with just regular supply and demand curves. Change in the price of other resources. And you can think of this as other related resources. If you want to try to parallel this with the analysis you've already done. Because in this case, just like we dealt with, with you know, regular products, you're going to have substitutes and complements. of moving between human beings and machines fairly easily. You know, they can switch their production line fairly easily without a whole lot of additional cost. Then if a particular machine gets much cheaper and it's still productive and labor gets more expensive and they can make that trade-off to minimize cost, which is one of the goals here. The business wants to maximize profit and minimize cost. They will go with the least cost option. So, if a substitute resource becomes cheaper, they'll switch to that. If the substitute becomes more expensive, then they'll go with the alternate. Now, different deal with complements. Complements are two things that go together. If a complementary resource becomes more expensive, then they're not going to use the one that they're using to go with it. Because again, minimize cost. If the complement is pricier, they're not going to go with the resource in question. So this is very similar to what we've already dealt with in terms of different types of products. With the product, you'll go with the least costly substitute. With a complement, then if it gets cheaper, you'll buy the product in question. If it's more expensive, eh, you probably won't. These 
three things are really the biggest factors in terms of what can shift this curve. things mean a shift means to the right or to the left. 